G'day again, uh, welcome back to uh, Simple Innovation Tips. Um, I'm doing the renovation of the whole kitchen, but there are a lot of small videos um, such as uh, how to install the, um, the hinges on the, for the doors, the cabinet doors in the kitchen, how to install the, uh, the soft closing for the drawers, um, how to cut the, uh, the laminate uh, bench top, how to repair all these little defects and today's video is to show you how to install the splashback. As you can see this is the old splashback um, but um, I renovated the whole kitchen but um, this is the old style so I wanted to use splashback which is one single color and one single piece uh, going. So what I did is I purchased one sheet, it's 3.1 by um, uh, 748 so I will be cutting pieces from there um, but I need to draw it first in, in, on the computer and then fit them in that sheet and then cut them afterwards. What I did here is I uh, used AutoCAD so um, as you can see the sheet that I purchased is 748 millimeter wide by 3.1 meter uh, long so what I did here is um, I measured all the pieces that I need so I try to fit them all within one single sheet because if you don't do that and you keep cutting um, from one end to the other end you might probably not have enough and this sheet costs a lot of money it's, um, I, per it's, it, uh, I think yeah, it was around $350 uh, for one sheet and it's uh, it's not really something if there is one little piece that's left um, you wouldn't want to go and purchase another $350 sheet anyway so I need to make sure that you place them all in one single sheet make sure that um, that's going to be enough for what you need and then you start cutting okay so this is the first piece that I'm cutting now so what I'm doing is uh, I just measured this is the the sheet as you can see it it's long and it's protected with a film on top anyway um, so that you're not gonna scratch it um, so what I did is as you can see I just replicated whatever is on this little uh, piece of paper yep and I replicated it here so um, I measured it twice, made sure that um, I've taken the right measurement. Uh, good advice that I'm going to give you, always double check diagonally. So you measure from this end all the way down to that end and from this end all the way to that end as well. Just to make sure that because the diagonal is the one that gives you the accuracy of, uh, of your measurement. So now what I did, use um, just a, a normal uh, drill bit, probably a 6mm, 7mm, 8mm, whatever is, is enough for a, a jigsaw. So at the corners here, make holes. Uh, as you can see, I made two holes. Uh, probably I could have gotten away with just one hole uh, or just the top hole here but um, uh, yes I made two holes but it's not a that's not a big deal anyway so now I made the first cut I made the second cut and then I've started the third cut as you can see so this is the third cut so I'll, I'll go all the way and basically just following it following it around the blade, the blade has to be um, either metal blade or universal fitment. Um, basically, it's all-purpose. That's this one here. That's an all-purpose blade. It's very small teeth, so that it can have uh, straight cuts. Um, also, the jigsaw. Just put it to the maximum speed, so that you're not going to have any chipping. So you're going to have a straight edge as well. I think that's all you need to do. Um, afterwards you measure from because because I have like a straight edge so you measure from the side 
to the side of the blade and place it exactly the same way here so that it does cut through uh, the, the same line. So what I do here sanitary grade silicon sealant white which is at the bottom I put it at the bottom first and then put this um, silicon put this one here at the back and stick it so I'll peel the plastic cover which is the back the one at the back um, I really don't want to put the silicon on top of this cover uh, I don't know how it's gonna how it's going to be you know, in many years to come anyway. So I just wanted to install it so to stick the actual splash pad. Okay, so I put some on the wall. Just stick it this face on the wall. So I just wait for thirty seconds, and that should be done. That's it. Just wanted to show you uh, the backsplash that's right behind the oven. So this is how I applied the, uh, the sealant and then spread it. This may flatten it a bit. The reason you flatten it like that is, is actually to give it uh, the same thickness at the back so that you're not going to have uh, problems with uh, with it sticking out or you know it goes um, out a bit you don't want it to go too much out there is uh, there is a little bit of uh, adjustment you can use the uh, the silicon afterwards uh, you know in the motor, in, in the joints but uh, not too much of a gap I have a little issue for this one that I installed. It's actually it's actually not not plumb. So there is a there is a larger gap at the bottom. I'll see how uh, how to fix that using silicon. So from here now, you just hold it for thirty seconds. Okay, so the splash pack is, um, is completed now, um, everything is installed. Um, this corner here, it's a mitre joint, so you've got to cut it at 45 degree angle. You can see here, it's a 45 degree angle cut, otherwise it's not going to look good anyway. Uh, so now, what's left now is basically trying to find something at the top here. 
Uh, I'm thinking either it's uh, sort of uh, silicon or maybe um, some sort of stainless steel. Um, I'm still thinking about it, thinking what to use there. And silicon all the bottom here and um, at the top. Uh, top is not as important, but uh, I'll still do it. So silicon, especially around the tap, uh, around the oven, it's a very challenging job, but uh, I'm very happy with the way it came out.